Return of the Obra Din has returned to this channel after four years. If you were watching four years ago, you would have seen that I played the demo for this, and now four years later, today, the game is finally out. This is the next game from Lucas Pope, creator of Papers, Please, and this is his best game yet. Hell of a recommendation. Uh, if you're the sort of person who takes my recommendations and runs with them, then go and play this game immediately and stop watching this video. This video is going to cover probably about the first hour of the game, but the blinder you go in, the better I think this game experience is. It is absolutely terrific. Um, just want to point out that YouTube is probably making it look like shite. Probably making it sound like shite as well. Yay for compression. That's even if you've seen the video, because everything's now private these days. Oh god, oh god, it's all on fire. But who cares, because this is a fantastic game! And I will now show it to you once we've had a look at the options menu. And I'm not normally one for going into an options menu. However, this is a special, special options menu because you can actually change the color of the game. You may have noticed that the game is, uh, well, it's monochromatic. It's white and then off gray, greeny, brown. Hmm. You can change that. You can turn it to uh, green and kind of dark. That's a color. Dark is a color. There's woo, brown, and thingies. I quite like that one. If I do another playthrough, I think I'll have a go on that. Uh, there's the Commodore. If that's for you, then that's for you. There's an old IBM, apparently. Ooh, that's a quite nice one as well. Uh, there's LCD, if you happen to like black and white. And then there's the old Macintosh one. That's the one I think I'm going to stick with for now. Also, I'd like to talk about the look sensitivity, because I've currently got it set to perfect. Uh, there's also Fast Side of Perfect, Reasonably Fast, Unreasonably Fast, and A Parody of Control. Also Slow Side of Perfect, Just Slow, Strugglish, and Nearly Motionless. I really enjoy that options menu. Right, let's return to the Obra Dinn, goddammit. Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Obra Dinn, built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot trot. It's a long trot. Captain R. Witterell, crew 51 men, last voyage. To Orient, uh, Cape Rendezvous imminent. Uh, contact East India City Land Office requires or testimony. Because, yes, this is a game where, well, the ship's been lost. And you have to, well, you found it. It's returned. You just have to find out what happened to the crew. It's a mystery adventure game thing. It, it's kind of somewhere between... Imagine if they made a Phoenix Wright game that was only the fun bits of Phoenix Wright and actually made sense all the way through but wasn't in a court and involved a lot more gruesome death. <coughs> Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obred Inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Oh, shit. We have got some plot going on. Alright, welcome to the Obra Din, which, uh... Well, if you watch the demo thing, you'll notice that it actually now looks a lot more like a ship. <laughs> all the masts, all the rigging, all that stuff. An old man here has dropped us off. Uh, with a case, which we can't do crap all about right now. We will climb our way onto the ship. And what a beautiful ship it is. Arr! Look at it! Look at all the current lack of corpses. Don't worry, we'll fix that as we go. So, the first thing you'll notice about this game is it is just drop-dead fucking gorgeous. Oh, hang on a second, I'm out of talking. It's too heavy! Oh, apparently it's too heavy. The, uh, the thing's too heavy. The case that I said for him to lift up. Stupid, grubbly old ship people. Can't do anything right. It's too heavy. I know. Take it yourself or open it here. <sighs> Didn't even try. You haven't even moved, mate. All right, let's open it up. What's inside? A book. Let's have the book. I'll put that in my, my back pocket. Yep, just checking it's a book. It smells like a book. Looks like a book. It's probably a book. Oh, we can open the book. <gasps> What's this? Return of the Obra Dinn, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy. I trust you now find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come in my every intention to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. 
Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone on board. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. From a mysterious Henry Evans. This is the book. As you can see, it is 130 pages long, 135 pages long, and you will flick through it, and you will fill it in. All of it. If you want to know roughly how long this, uh, this game lasted, I finished it in about 9 or 10 hours. Almost all of that was pure deduction. It is, uh, it's long in a really good way. I can't say enough positive things about this game, so I'm going to keep flinging through the book. Whee! All right, back to the old contents page. So these are the chapters. This is what happened to the book. Loose cargo, bit of cold. Murder, the calling, unholy captive, soldier of the sea, the doom, bargain, escape, and the end. Uh, you'll pretty much do it in reverse order because you'll see why. Uh, and also, there's very important things on these pages. So, this is the journey that the ship took. You'll be using this to plot where the ship goes on its journey. Uh, this is a map of the ship. This is so goddamn useful while you're playing the game. Normally, stuff like this, you're like, oh, that's nice. And you never look at it again. You'll need to constantly be referencing all of this stuff. Believe me, and I will say this. If you're going to play this game, and I seriously recommend that you play this game, don't get anything off the internet. Don't get any spoilers. If you get stuck, work at it. I mean, I finished this before this game was released, so I know you could do it, 100% it, without actually looking any shit up online. Get a notebook, get a pen, write shit down. I wrote about 40 pages to solve this game in the end. It is... Oh, it's so good. Uh, the little footprints here are where you're currently standing. Uh, there's the crew manifest. So this is the all the people, and you've got to find out the fate of all of these people. All 60 of them. And... Here's a sketch. This is where you're going to be identifying people from. This is where you get their faces from. This is all the people on the old ship. It's a, uh... Yeah. It's a... You'll work it out. We'll see. We'll watch it. We'll go. Ah, this here is the Pocket Watch of Doom. Memento Mortem. I prefer Pocket Watch of Doom. Remember death. Yes, if you find a dead thing, you can go back to the exact moment that thing was killed. So... That's fun. All right, back on board the old ship. Oop. Nice, and um, yeah. See you in about ten hours, mate. I've got some deducing to do. So that's very much a broken bit of the ship there. Ooh, but this is a dead guy. So let's dead guy check, shall we? Bum bum. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. Welcome to the gameplay part. This is uh, this is where you're going to start deducing things. So you see the color palette shifts into a more just sort of it's more white and kind of inverts basically. And you, I, I, I mean, this one, yeah, you can work out how this, di this guy died. Uh, it looks like, now, I'm not, I'm not sort of Sherlock Holmes, although after playing this game I feel like it. It's like he was shot by this guy. <clears throat> now, the difficult part comes from, who the fuck is this guy? And who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Whee! Floop. Now, because, oh, who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> now, because I have actually, uh, who the fuck are you? Because I have uh, finished this, I know who all these people are. Because I have studied these things a lot. You're not going to just be seeing this once. You're going to have to see this a few times to work out how everything is. If you zoom on someone, ooh, you can see who they are on the map. Matches it to that picture, remember? But we're out of time for that memory. Or you can go back and then replay them indefinitely. That's just enough time to get a taste and then, 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 taste. And then the bit of the book gets filled in. Flip, 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 flip. We'll go over to the end, because this is the end. Because of course you start at the end, that makes sense. So that is where we were in the sea. That's a picture of a gun. Uh, and this was the uh, part one of the end. 
So somebody did something. Who is this? How did they die? Uh, if you click on this, you'll be able to read a transcript of what happened. The little X indicates who died. Very useful. Uh, three hours of presence. So this highlights on this thing here who these people were. Um, if they're... See, that one's a lot more coloured in than that one. That means that you can tell who they are a little bit more. Or you've seen everything that they're in. It's one of those two things. I can't remember which one now. But you get... I mean, within three hours, I had all of this, like, filled in and everybody was there. And it was, like, six or seven hours of just pure deduction work. And that was honestly one of the most fun things I've ever done in the game. This fucker down here, I struggled the fuck with. I... God... That guy there was like my last piece. He was the one where when it all went together, everything, I went, ah, click, 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 you know, so, yeah. That, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Anyway, who is this? How did they die? This unknown soul. Him here. He plays, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're tutorializing me while I'm talking at the same time. Blowing indicates you don't have sufficient information to determine their identity. Yes, that thing. Whereas if it isn't, then it's another one. And that's how they died. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. So you can say how somebody died, even if you don't know who it is. Uh, trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. <laughs> These tutorials have a bit of a... They, they seem to hate you. Carry on and pay attention. All right, fine. Jesus. Right, so we don't know who this is, but we know how they died. We know that they were shot with a gun. But who shot them? Now, assumptions based on... And assumptions are important in this game. In this game, you actually have to assume things. Logically, can't you be like, what if that guy's a monkey? You know, you have to logically assume stuff. But from here, Captain, open the door, and then your bastards may take exactly what I give you. There's a good chance that this person was the captain. So you can put something in if you don't know if it's right or not. So we'll say that he was shot with a gun by the captain, but we don't know who he is yet. Um... That assumes that this guy's the captain. And that guy's been highlighted, so now we have enough information to know that he's the captain. See, the issue I did when I played this is I kind of went through and ticked everything off quite quickly. And then I had, didn't get... Because that's a nice bit of information of, oh, now I know who that guy is. Maybe it would have been smarter for me to have actually waited until they were unblurred and then gone... Uh, uh, not every, not unblurred everybody in the first place. That's what would have been a better idea. Unblurred them a bit more slower and maybe paste through it all. But, um... I, ho I was hoisted by my own petard there. Made it nautical. Ah, right. The door has opened. So we're back in the memory. There's stuff going down. This guy's like, I'm going to shoot you in the face. Uh, I'll scooch past you. I can't scooch past you. Possibly, Captain. You shirtless. This is a good look for you. I enjoy it. And then bang. Bleh. And then we can leave this memory by this ominous dark door. Just like I leave all my memories. <laughs> Just leave it behind and then carry on. And then we're back here. The clock is stuck at their time of death, which is gently creepy. Uh, you also see that this door is now fizzy. If a door is opened in a memory, it then kind of opens in the real world. That's a strange thing. Other doors aren't fizzy. You can open them and your hand actually opens them, which is quite sweet. This one doesn't have anything in it. Or does it? There are some rooms I didn't think had anything in that were super fucking important. Here's somebody else. Let's see how they died with the core music. Bum bum. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Ooh, okay. What is it? What's at the bottom of the sea? Ah! I don't quite know. So that guy's dead and bleeding out. I do like the only ones where it's quite close together. You actually get a bit of movement around all the other people and stuff. That guy who was up here is... There he is. <laughs> Just about seen doing something over there. Something mysterious. I'd also like to point out these memories. You're not just looking for very obvious things. There's one or two... There's one or two moments where I saw something going, Oh, how did I miss that? And other times there's stuff like... Oh my god, I'm so confident for even noticing that. Yeah, I'm going to assume this guy was, uh, knifed a bit. Hmm, knifed a bit by the old captain. Hey, captain. Bomb. 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 If this game has a soundtrack condition, I am buying that fucking soundtrack. Cause holy shit, it's incredible. Right, inside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Two others were present. Who is this? I, she took me so long to work out. Jesus. 
How did they die? Uh, they were... Yes, and you can see that we've got stuff like, they're alive, they were axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten, executed, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, killed with a sword, knifed, poisoned, shot, speared, spiked, uh, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart. Uh, he was knifed by the Capitan. Sweet. Uh, also, this is a useful feature, and it's probably going to tutorialize it, so I'm just going to click it and tutorialize it for me. Memory where this person appears can be navigated from here, so you can actually go through all of the memories when you've got them all, and then flick through them all. And if you bookmark the memories where they appear, you get quicker navigation. So basically, we'll literally add a bookmark to the book. And then they appear up there! So you can then flick very quickly between the pages where people appear, so you can be like trying to work them out. They're not always like mentioned or talked about in those places, but it is useful. So if we click this one, it'll go here! This guy was here! And then we can be like, yeah, you can see this first memory uh, where he perished. Uh, and then other memories on the deck map. See, remember I said the deck map's super useful because look, we know he went there and there. The arrow indicates the flow of time. This game's fucking incredible. It's so well thought out. I absolutely adore it. I just realized something. Woohoo! There's that guy. That's what he's doing. He's got a knife and he's jumping down here going, Arg! Oh, Arg! He's a pirate after all. What are you pirates? Oh, they're just people on the ship. I assume anyway, an old boat's a pirate. That's probably piratist. Pirate piratism. I'm a piratist. I can't open that door because it's locked. Boo! But I can check out this corpse because it's not locked. It's a corpse. Can't lock a corpse. Ooh. Ooh. Nice sound. So we heard glub 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 glub. Safe to assume that guy dying. There was also a f ah, which was that I'm assuming. And this dude just gets fucking beamed in the face. Uh, e to zoom. I've been using right click zoom. Yeah, again, if you zoom in on someone, you can actually see their face appear on the map like that. So you get a better idea of who they are. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're that guy. I know your name, and I hate your name. I hate you. That guy's that guy up there. He's still in a slightly different picture, a slightly different place. Most important question for this one, though. Who the hell are you? Oh, you're that person there. Interesting. As this door's been opened in the memory, we'll be able to then go back there. Yeah, safe to see. Look at that fucking... Just the whoosh effect of it all. I've, it's like, when you when you leave it, like, stock still, if you get in the right place, it kind of looks like illustrations in old books, but it's moving. Beyond remarkable. I could remark, I could write a whole fucking book on this game. All right, part three of the end. It's very rare, because this I think this is the only chapter where it goes through part one, two, three. Later on, you kind of go back on yourself. Who is this? Absolutely no clue. Uh, but they were clubbed by the old captain. Uh, like a corpse, one of the first ones present. Yeah, the captain. All right, that's that one done. Bosh, straight in there. There's not many people left at this point. Yeah, look at that, just the bits and the... Ah, oh. oh, I love it. I love this game, man. Right, I've gone through the once locked door and I found some more bones there. And a gun, which is probably a bit of an indicator of what's going on. It's also a little bit more dead. And we can check you out, but we're going to go check out what I'm assuming is the captain. Abigail. You're... Brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. That was the captain going. If I rally in the demo, he actually shot himself like in the side of the head. Now he's uh, a bit more of a... Ouchy time. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that dude's brain's been bashed in. Yeah, ouchy time. Ow ouchy time. Yeah, it's not going to take a lot of deduction, this one. <laughs> but it was. I will do a little thing here. I will say that this is a good jumping off point of this video. This is my like second thing of... From this point on, we're going to get a little bit more spoilery, and I'm going to talk about a deduction point that happened here. And the next corpse we check is very spoilery for stuff that happens in the game. I mean, it is like the first 10 minutes, but something I wasn't quite expecting. So if you're enjoying it, 
And you go, shit, this game looks awesome. Stop watching this video and go now. If you stick around, things are going to get weird. Anyway, let's, uh, who is this? Well, we know who this person is. Hang on a second, he's got an Illuminati triangle above his head. What is this? Would you like to tutorialize me if I click this? You will. It could be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Which I can do. Recent memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Yeah, relationships, important. Activities, also important. Appearances, super important. Use the bookmaps crew manifest night sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. Basically, you have to use everything at all times. This is why I said getting your own notebook involved is important. Uh, there were 60 people on the ship when it left England. And now there's zero. Because Cameron's the last one. Determining everybody's identity, in fact, will not be easy. It fucking wasn't! I had to take a break between days and go, what? Decisive information is rare. Uh, yes, it is. You have to make assumptions using partial information. Partial information, yes. But not like, you know, like, Wah! whatever. So I don't need to only be revealed through a process of elimination. Yeah, you have to sort of sometimes work out if there's like a, a set amount of people who work a certain role and you know all but one of them, then the last one can fall into place and stuff like that. This little triangle, if I'm right, is like how difficult they are to ascertain who it is. You are the captain and you didn't meet an unknown fate. You commit suicide with a gun. But wait, this may or may not be correct. Doubt, 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 doubt. Fates are validated in sets of three. So every time you get three, you fill three things in and get them right, then it will tell you you've got them right if you do three. Now that is important. Now some people will be like, ah, ah, but then I don't have to guess and stuff. No, you'll still have to work it. You just need to... The game telling you every three is right is... I mean, I played it for 10 hours, and there's 60 people, which means I identified three people every half an hour. That's a plenty good speed, and that means you've got a solid base to build the rest of it on. Otherwise, it's just like, it would have gone a little bit too much up in the air. This, this keeps it focused and nice, and may or may not be correct. Because if we look at here, Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him. Okay, but then if we look, if we push Q to go back to the... First page, and then skip over here, and then we look for somebody called Abigail. Uh, Abigail Hoskot Witterell. So, he killed her brother. Now, does anybody else have the surname of Witterell? Yeah, the captain. He killed the captain. So, maybe that wasn't the captain after all. And that thought there spiralled me off. And for ages, I got... A, I was like, wait. It was, uh, but, if we go... <laughs> Back to uh, the end, not that one. I want to go to this one. I'll be with you soon. My love assumed a marriage. She took the captain's name. That is the captain. That's what you've got to bring to this game, okay? <laughs> That's the... That's what you've got to... Like... You've got to think like that. You've got to doubt. You've got to push. You've got to question yourself. And then you've got to realise you're being... You're overthinking some things. <laughs> uh, one person's death I genuinely could not get right. And it's because I literally wasn't looking at the situation properly. And that's a death when it's at the moment of their death. You'd think that would be the easy part. Sometimes it's not. Anyway, I'm going to say that that's Captain Robert Witterall shooting himself. We're now going to go and check how Abigail died. And again, spoilery warning time. Actually, that's his death. I have to leave the memory. Spoiler warning time. This will be a good time to leave if you're interested in the game. Because the next one's a bit of a... Stuff. And there's another mechanic behind this bit. Just go fucking play this game, can I? It's great. Tick, 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 tick. Four people died in the end. This tells you how many people died. If there's only one slash, it's if they went missing. Uh, so we know the four people died there. Boom! And we're back here. Now, alright, I swear the water down now. If you're here, it's your own fault. Very different time.
So, Abigail died when she was smashed in the face. My fucking Kraken! Ah! <laughs> oh, exactly. This is the water lapping over the side of the ship. How great does that look? Yeah, so. It's got some, uh, it's not just a straight, you know, mutinies and that kind of shit. There's a lot going on in things like this. So, currently we've got guy down here holding a gun, shooting a crack in. We've got person here, two more people there. We've got anybody else. Oh, we've got somebody here being dragged away. We've got, uh, but remember, this is not their moments of death. They're still alive, so we can't say that they died in this specific way. I love that whoosh coming through there. Christ. We've got this guy going, oh, fucking hell. Uh, Abigail's getting twatted by the old beam. Dude here. Gotta get dragged off. Another dude here. It's another tricky one, too. Stabbing someone. There's a guy on the mast there, big A lot going on in some of these. Like, the first ones are very simple compared to these ones. Anyway, we will now go to the chapter of The Doom. Where the, uh, Kraken be attacking. All right, so who is this and how did they die? The question we are always asked. Ten others were present. So these are the ten people that were present. Uh, that guy again. You remember that guy? A uh, bunch of people here and here and here. Oh, he's clear, apparently. Apparently we can deduce who he is. Interesting. Uh, and uh, I don't think I could work out who he was from that. Uh, and who is this? We know who this is. This is Abigail. So fling our way down to wherever the hell they're keeping Abigail these days. Passenger? Yep. And she was smashed in the face. Uh, what do we want to say? Smashed in the face. Strangled. She was clubbed. Crushed. I think crushed works. Crushed by rigging. Crushed by falling rigging. Well, it's being tried out by Beastie Boy, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can go back here. But wait! What's happening? Because in the real world, not in these memories, we've run out of dead bodies and no doors have opened in this one. That door's still shut. So what does this do? Makes everything go a bit eight mile now, doesn't it? Well, this lets you find corpses and check corpses within memories. Yeah. Dead bodies in the memories, you can also see their moment of death. And it adds them to the uh, sort of the, the real world thing. You just kind of follow their death. So yeah, you're going to have to be looking for other dead bodies in memories to work out how things go. And that's how the game plays itself backwards. And then in this world, you'll be able to see well, that dead body in his fizzy state. And then we can go visit how he died. Warning. This one's not pleasant. Oh boy. Yeah, so that guy, safe to say how he died. Uh not not well. Ooh, uh right, we've got this guy. Like, this is something you can work out. I mean there's there's guns being tossed around. Is it likely that somebody has the gun? Who threw the gun? Is this goat secretly Satan? Possibly. Look at that good that is. It's absolutely terrific. There's some slicing going on here. Someone's a bit of the old technical. But remember, this is before Lady was smushed. Can you find the lady in here? I can't currently. You can't see where some of the things are. There's a guy here. Oh, he's looking at. The fuck all there. Who are you? You are that guy. Having your booby touched. Lovely. There's three people falling out of a boat there. Identify them? I don't know. In some chapters, people just go missing, and you've got to go back and then find the people whose deaths you can't find the bodies of. It's great, it's really great. I'm gonna do one more memory and then I'm ending this. Who is this? I know who it is, but uh, I'm not telling you. And it was torn apart by a terrible beast. Yeah, I mean, there's not even text in this one, just ah! Page in the covers there. 12 others were present, different people as well. Right, we'll go find one more. Where are they? It's a pretty. Yep. Must be this guy. Didn't even spot you. Let's go. Come. Let's 
Spooky every time that happens. Love watching this thing go around for a little bit. And you go. It reminds me of the thing from um, Sonic 3. Uh, Sonic 3, Sonic of Knuckles. You in like one of the late stages. Goes, <laughs> Doesn't last as fucking long as that shit, though, does it? Let's see how you died. Boop. Get to So yeah, that guy got exploded. I love that the ship's on its side on this one. It's, you know, there's some serious shit going down. There's a guy here stumbling with some guns. There's something else going on there. There's a real, there's a detail in this scene in particular that took me a while to work out. Well, I shan't tell you what it is. Uh, but yeah, in there, somewhere, there. There's the guy we're trying to discover. So he went the boom. Oh, you who? Ah, you're that blurry guy there. It's really hard to not say names to some of these people. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you're not going to have a good time in like a few seconds. Oh, dear. But wait, what's this? This bit's open here. It's been uh, opened. So if that's been opened, maybe we can now go and explore some of the rest of the ship. Spoiler warning, we can now go and explore some of the rest of the ship, because of course you get to go through the entire ship. And of course you'll find more bodies, and you don't have to find all the stories in order. You'll start to really get busy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, who is this? I don't know. How do they die? They were exploded. I was blasted by an explosion. Yes, you were. And that one doesn't have any dead bodies in it. Well, it's got that guy, but we don't... We don't count that one, so we will now leave. Boom, boom, boom. Every time I leave one, I'm like, wait, wait, what? And all of the... All of the stuff that happens takes place on this ship, with a few little exceptions here and there. But now, see, that's fizzy, because this is slid open in that memory. We can now go into the lower decks, where there are quite a few more uh, oh, bodies and bits scattered around the place. Yeah, doors to open, things to see, things to do. Well, I'm not showing you any more of it, because that is Return of the Obra Dinn, And you absolutely, absolutely, for fuck's sake, absolutely have to play this game. Because it is just fucking extraordinary. It really, really is extraordinary. I love it. I love it to bits. Do you all work out how this thing's... I, I just... I just love it. Just fucking love it. That's the end of the video. I'm now going to go and stare at the moon. Or the sun. It's black and white. It's very hard to tell. I'm going to assume the moon. It looks nighttime and moody. What a fucking excellent game this is. Go play it. You'll see.